the feelings of 2020, early spring of 2020 was, yeah, for me, there was a rebirth again, uh, realizing my life was uh, needing some help, uh, going away to rehab, uh, putting the halt on some band stuff again, um, out of personal health, mental health reasons, you know, that takes priority, uh, even though I just want to keep running and let the band just keep going and, you know, run away from problems. Um, needed to deal with stuff, you know, um, a lot of rawness at that point. Um, it's really difficult when there's so much stuff going on around you in the rest of your life to take time for yourself to get yourself um, at least to a point where you feel like you're functioning. <laughs> And for me, it has been easy at times to just shut out the rest of the world. Um, and then when, obviously, the pandemic happened, it was horrible, absolutely horrible for many people. Um, and in a strange way, it was kind of a silver lining for me. I was able to put the brakes on life and really take some time to embrace my needs at that time. Um, so yeah, not discounting all of the terrible things that were happening at that point. It was just a timely thing that happened and it was, it was I, I can see the positiveness in it for myself. Yeah, the downtime during the pandemic, uh, the fear of what does it mean to us? You know, we're, well, we're, we were going in to write a record anyway at some point. Um, it's not like we were in the middle of a tour or something, um, even though I guess we were. <laughs> and that kind of put the brakes on that. But uh, yeah, a long, um, the pandemic put the brakes on everyone's touring. <laughs> I had a feeling that, you know, all, <laughs> all entertainment is going to be taking a hiatus. And what do you do with that time, you know? Uh, and when we're at home, we're writing. That's, it's kind of a no-brainer. Um, so I was writing, I was doing stuff on my own. Uh, the, the COVID virus definitely put a lot of fear into a lot of people. I think um, certain other guys in the band that were you know, living more in big cities were affected by it a lot more than I was. I'm out in the middle of nowhere in, the, in the, a valley in the mountain. Um, it didn't affect, it didn't affect the mountain life as much. Still able to get outside, hang out with a few people that you were comfortable with, hiking, doing stuff, being able to get outside of the house at least. I know it was pretty difficult for Lars in particular, you know, being in San Francisco in a city where it was locked down and there was tons of fear around it. You know, people were dying and no one wanted to risk their life, which I get. Um, but for me, I didn't feel the squeeze of it as much. And I, I tend to rebel against <laughs> the fear of the world anyway. I create my own fears <laughs> really well, really easily. Um, but at that point, yeah, how do we get together? How do we start writing? What are we going to do? Um, and Zoom really took off zooming, you know. Thank God for that because there were there was a connection. There was a connection while you're sitting in your <laughs> kind of self-made quarantine even if you weren't sick, you were hiding. You were hiding out. Uh and so Zoom was a great connection. Um trying to figure out how can we zoom? How can we get together? How can we do something together? over that media form. I kind of just got a little annoyed and pissed and just, you know what, fuck this. What would be a great thing to kind of reconnect the band again? How about, you know, we've done acoustic versions of certain songs for, you know, Bridge School, for All Within My Hands Benefits, things like that. Um, why not take a song and just mess around with it? Blackened seemed to be something, I don't know, there's just something that clicked for me. 
and I just said, hey, guys, here's a challenge. I'm just going to send you something. You add on to it. You're musicians. <laughs> Let's just embrace this challenge of isolation and connect with what we do best. So I just threw down. I mean, I had a acoustic mic and my regular vocal mic. Just threw it down on a couple different tracks, sent it off to Greg Fiddleman, our producer, and they figured out how to get it to the other guys. And I said, hey, put whatever you feel you want to on this. Let's have fun with this, you know? Don't even, you know, don't study it, don't over listen to it, just feel it. Uh, and Black in 2020 is kind of what happened from that. And that was, that was the beginning of the reconnection online uh, with our creative flow. There are, there are times when we're afraid to open that Pandora's box, the Pandora box of riffs. <laughs> you know, oh, here's a riff. And then once you look at that riff, I mean, there's hundreds of other riffs. Okay, the process has started. We're going to start writing an album, you know. And it's important that we're all kind of in that same mind frame. Um, but yeah, that blackened uh, little idea project was very healthy, I think, for all of us to reconnect.